the big guy, Stoutmeister here, and today I'm here to give my two cents on the free Sargon campaign that's been going around all over social media throughout the day, more specifically Twitter for obvious reasons considering the banhammer that Sargon got, and for those that need a refresher as to who Sargon of Akkad is, Sargon of Akkad pretty much got a lot of notoriety over the last couple years for being a social commentator in which he would call out SJWs, radical feminists, and pretty much anyone on the far left side of the political spectrum, and he got a lot of recognition for doing that. Well, recently, he got banned from Twitter for what some people believe is for the reasons of censorship. And one of the reasons that they have is pretty much a tweet that Sargon put out before he got banned, and this tweet states, Hasn't mass Islamic immigration to Europe drastically raised the odds of terror attacks, though? And that's his response to a tweet that Federica Magarina, I'm probably fucking up the name and I apologize in advance for doing that, that's a response that he made to a tweet that she recently made. Given the inconsistencies of Twitter and Facebook and the posts that are made on there and which post stays and which posts get taken down, it's pretty reasonable to assume that that's the reason why Sargon got banned in the first place, but with new information that came out, it had something to do with the little feud that he got in with another Twitter user and one of the posts that Sargon made to give his little trollish response ends up being a photo of a black man tasting white meat. Given the circumstances of new information that's come into play later on in the day, thanks to Todd Howard for bringing this piece of information, it's safe to say now that it's not as much having to do with confirmation bias as journalistic websites like Breibart and Infowars want you to believe, or even Sargon himself considering that he made no mention of spamming pornography towards this individual at all, but... Given that he was given the ban hammer, does that mean that some sort of bias was or wasn't involved? Because I've looked on Twitter and there are so many inconsistencies when it comes to pornography. There are porn stars that constantly post content on their pages which involve pictures and videos of them being naked, them doing pornographic things like fucking, playing with toys, and so on and so forth. You want one example of a porn star? Mercedes Carrera. She got a lot of notoriety back in late 2015 for her stance against Anita Sarkeesian going to the UN, and she got the nickname Based Milf due to that. So, to say that it has anything to do with pornography in of itself, there has to be a lot more underneath the surface. In no way am I saying that spamming pornography or making Islamophobic and bigotrous tweets about Syrian immigration and anything else that the far left wouldn't want you to tweet about. In no way am I saying that those things couldn't play a role. It could be a combination of those things for all we know. But to say that it's because of this one tweet alone, or because of him spamming pornography, it's completely inconsistent, and it does nothing more than show Twitter's inconsistency, given that there's a lot of fucked up profiles, and, go and this is going to be going to some profiles that Simon and I found, and Simon's been a long time viewer of mine, and we were actually talking about this whole thing earlier today, which... I might even do a follow-up to this particular video because of the information that's going to be coming out regarding Free Sargon and all the other shit. And he was talking about how he's been flagging down profiles that have been posting CP because of some sort of CP ring that's been going around on Twitter, which a lot of people, especially anti-SJWs, got all riled up in arms about, rightfully so, given that these profiles that advocate for pedophilia, they get to stay up while people that speak out against the far left get taken down. While some people in the NTSJW crowd get taken down unjustly, there are those that get taken down for legitimate reasons, whether we like it or not, but what Simon showed me, oh my god, I, I'll just do a separate video for this alone, but just to give you a taste of what we found, this fucking page right here, anti pedophile action! Nah! Minor Attracted Person Libertarian Socialist! Yay! I bet Cameron would like that profile very much. <laughs> Good fucking lord! Just this fucking page! LGBTP plus! Say it clear, say it loud! Pedophile and proud! I support my Minor Attracted Son! Just the cringeworthy shit that is on here! Oh, and here's one fucking thing right here. <laughs> Bid 
against maps means being homophobic. Pedophilia is a form of homophobia! I'm not even fucking joking. This is not a satirical page. This is a small sect of the LGBT advocating for pedophilia because pedophilia, if you're against pedophilia, then you're against homosexuality because only pedophiles are attracted to the same sex, right? No, that's not how pedophilia works. And, and another reason why I bring this up as to why him spamming pornography is the only reason that Sargon got taken down is because of pages like this that advocate for pedophilia, advocating for child sex. How the fuck do these pages stay up, but Sargon gets taken down? Like, yeah, it's not good to spam shit, but these pages, like, yeah, I understand some of these pages like this one, I haven't seen any signs of pornography being posted on that page, so obviously that's not going to pick up the algorithms of Twitter, but still, you're advocating for sex with children. Sex with prepubescent children. And you, you want to talk about consent, like a fucking five-year-old knows about all the wonders of the world. Five-year-olds are barely learning their ABCs and one, two, threes. They're just starting out preschool and kindergarten. What makes them ready for sex? What makes them ready for gender identities and transgenderism? Which, that's a completely separate fucking topic that I could get into as well. Blair White and a few others like her pretty much touch up on that shit a hell of a lot better than I'm touching up on it right now, but nonetheless, fucking pages like this get to stay up. They get to stay up and push their bullshit narrative while people like Sargon get taken down. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't people like Sargon that get justly taken down, like like the time that Baron got taken down for copyright back when he used the original bear from some sort of cartoon, which caused him to change up the bear design, which, yeah, DMCA's and all that other shit, I understand that. <laughs> I just don't fucking know. This is just nothing more than inconsistency with social media platforms and the algorithm system is totally flawed, whether we're talking about YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, or any of these other websites in particular. More information is obviously going to come out about this whole thing by the time I publish this video onto YouTube later on, so feel free to let me know any updates in the comment section below as to what's going on with the whole free Sargon campaign. and. Also, to make this a bit more interactive, uh, let me know your thoughts on the real reason you think Sargon got banned off of Twitter. Do you believe what Briarbard and Infowars are saying, that it has everything to do with that last tweet, or everything to do with Sargon's political views? Do you believe it was due to the spamming of pornography? Do you believe that it's just a combination of different things? Feel free to let me know what you believe, and uh, yeah. Not more I can add to this video right here, so yeah, we'll just wait and see what more information comes out. I don't want to act like I know everything going on with the situation, so yeah. So stay tuned for more videos, take care, see you later, and cue an epic outro music to cleanse thine mind.